All right, guys, you are here live with MVI, and we are in a 2016 GMC Sierra. Um, today's going to be a little bit of a treat. We have retrofitted this vehicle to a uh, IO3 setup, and the reason for it is we're going to show how we can now convert IO3 to IOB, which IOB, guys, is uh, the uh, seven-inch high-definition color touchscreen with Android Auto and CarPlay built into it. So, um, whole nother upgrade option on top of IO3 to say IO5. I think we can make this pretty appealing and still give you all kinds of functionality as far as um, cameras, um, which I can't show you today. I'll show you that down, down the road, but um, also as far as um, <clears throat> iPhone mirroring and, and things of that nature. So let's get started. I'm gonna fire it up here again 2016 GMC Sierra As you'll see we've got the io3 system in there And what we're gonna do is convert this guy to The IOB so let's go ahead and just go to um, Now well, as you can see it's the io3. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and tear this thing down um, Switch it out the uh, to the IOB system and show you how easy this is going to be via our plug-and-play harness and kit that we're now making so we'll start by taking the dash out again just some push clips whatnot same alligator clips as all the rest there's four seven millimeter bolts around the screen which you've already taken out and then that guy's just going to pop right out, unplug on the back side. Okay. And then we're going to set that aside. Now, we're not going to transfer today the uh, HVAC controls, but that would, um, if we're doing the actual kit, would transfer if you flip that over. Um, there's just some release clips, and this guy just pops out. All you're going to do is snap that right into the new um, bezel that we send you. And also here, guys, if you're seeing some stuff in behind there that maybe looks unfamiliar, it's because this truck is fully equipped. Um, we just retrofitted it back all the way to the base. And um, basically what we're going to do is, you know, add the IOB system. So you may be looking at some stuff in here that seems unfamiliar. It's because... This truck is pretty well loaded. Uh, again, we just retrofitted it back for video purposes. So, New screen, IOB guys. Looks the same as the 8-inch screen, but it's not. It's the 7-inch screen. Buttons are completely different, and more importantly, the quality of the screen is also uh, way better in my opinion. So, about to show you here. So what we're going to do is um, remove the radio on the top of the dash here. So unplug, slide it out. Okay, just like that, set it aside. We're gonna supply you with a whole new radio. And you're gonna slide that sucker right in there. Just like it belongs. And our T-harness, everything's just gonna plug right in. Again, guys, we do all the hard work for you. Just plug it in. It's gonna be about a 40 minute upgrade here for you guys. Plug right in. So the radio may or may not come with XM. We'll have to discuss that upon ordering. I think this particular one doesn't have it. FM will just slide right back in there. If it came with the new XM uh, connector, you'll need to either add the antenna on the roof or on the, under the dash. We can talk about that when you order it, like we said. Um, 
And again, everything else is gonna plug right in. There is gonna be a connection for camera there. If you're adding a camera, we've got it there. If you're retaining um, camera from the old system, it'll automatically just plug in and pull up on the new screen. Um, this guy here is just gonna untwist. And this is actually gonna go to the supplied overhead mic panel right there, guys. Um, you're not gonna have this in the truck again. This truck's already got the mic, so we're not gonna go through that step. But if you're getting this kit from us, that is gonna go right there. You are gonna run the wires all the way across the top of the headliner, down the A-pillar, into the dash, and then over and plug in. Pretty, pretty easy stuff. It's gonna plug into the back of the new screen. Okay. pretty big guys we've been working on this for quite a while it's gonna be good for you io3 guys with the work truck you can now get the uh, nice color screen in there with all the bells and whistles um, I'll show you on another video we're not gonna have time today but we can actually now add with this setup we can now add the um, 360 camera module um, the iPhone mirroring uh, all kinds of different stuff we can now do with this system as opposed to what you had before so um, again, I think you're hung up because of that DVD player that's in there and this truck's not designed to have a DVD in it. So we're just going to kind of hold that screen up there in the meantime. So again, if that DVD player was not behind there, that would just snap right in. And we just turned the key and we're live guys. So I officially have the IOB system working, upgraded, plug and play in like a, uh, I don't know, it took us actually maybe 10 minutes according to my count timer here, um, that was the upgrade. So um, we are now going to plug in the phone and watch CarPlay come up on the screen. There we go. So let's go ahead and go to, say, Apple Maps. There we go. Loading Apple Maps. Go to home. Got all your other stuff. Phone book, uh, messages, Pandora, etc. So you can go all to those different apps um, just by going into it. And then go right to your music, whatever. So, guys, this is pretty sweet. Um, so, I'm guessing for around a thousand bucks, eleven hundred bucks, we can go now to the eight inch screen with CarPlay, Android Auto, um, give you full functionality with the high definition screen, and you can add more flexibility down the road as far as cameras, um, iPhone mirroring, things of that nature. So, um, pretty big here guys um, as usual give us a call at the number at the end of the screen call us text us or email us we'll be more than happy to help you out thanks so much Okay, so we are inside a 2015 Chevrolet Silverado, or actually a GMC Sierra. Um, this is an, actually an IO3 vehicle, pretty base. No OnStar, no XM. Um, just your regular display screen right there. Today we're gonna show you a couple different things, actually. Um, we get calls all the time on how to remove this dash panel without scarring things up, so we'll cover that. We're actually going to show you upgrading to camera 
upgrading to XM only in this particular vehicle, retaining IO3, um, retaining IO3 and camera. Then we're going to show you going to IO4 um, with or with, a, with with or without camera, either way, and then all the way to IO5 and IO6, replacing the screen itself. So um, we'll get get started turning the uh, dash apart here show you how to um actually go and remove all this without um turning anything up so i'll be back here in just a second thanks bye all right so on the screen um just take this is nothing more i mean this is a specialized tool but you can go to lowe's or home depot and get a uh, hard putty knife um hard plastic or nylon uh, putty knife it'll do the same trick if you're worried about your dash, you don't really need to do all this. You can kind of tape it off with some masking tape to protect the edges. But here we'll go ahead and pop it off. And as you can see, that just pops off with clips all the way around. That's just going to remove. Don't be afraid to break it. A bunch of metal clips all the way around. And once that's out, we're going to have some 7 millimeter bolts um, on each corner to um, remove, which we'll do right now. The screen is in, just going to pop right out. And grab it and just use some force, tug it out. Be some clips on the back side, just unplug those two of them and set it aside. We'll be back in just a second to show you the rest. I'm going to go ahead and fold it up there and rock and roll. So we're up, we're connected down below. Just got to find the keys real quick, like. have Intel link. This is the uh, factory IO5 um, setup like I mentioned. I'm out of time. We're not going to be able to go to the IO4 but we can do that pretty easily as well. Um, and uh, see so or I can go all the way to IO6 and give you a factory navigation. So whatever you want to do, let's go ahead and go to home. And we've got our Intellink screen. Now one thing I will notice, um, point out, um, I am paired to this system, so go ahead. Um, I've got my phone paired. This is a very basic truck. There's no OnStar, there's no XM, there's nothing. Um, did not come with Bluetooth. And we have been able to successfully add Bluetooth to this vehicle as well. So. Thank you for calling MDI and Autosom Mobile Technologies. If you know your party's extension, you may enter it at any... So there you have it. Bluetooth's been added. Um, okay, we should be able to stream audio as well. And we're connected to Bluetooth, and I've got audio there. And now let's go to aux input. We'll go ahead and plug in the um, auxiliary cord. Oh, we've got a call coming in. This just... is a call for GM navigation sales. To... Sorry about that, whoever that was calling in. We'll get you later. Um, aux input on the aux board. That's working. And then we can switch up and go to USB. And I don't actually have the Pandora hooked up. It's trying to go. It's acquiring, checking device, and I'm not logged in. But Pandora works as well. So 
Um, next, I'm going to show you some camera stuff on this vehicle. This didn't come with camera. We're going to go ahead and do that as well next. So I'll be back to show you that here in just a second. All right, so we're back in this 2015 Sierra. Um, I do have a camera just temporarily hooked up to show you. Um, we're obviously able to, you know, in addition to the Bluetooth and the streaming and all that good stuff, we uh, now have camera as well. So um, it's not the best of camera because it's just a temporary hookup, but it is there. You can see the grid lines are there. Um, those other grid lines you're seeing are just from that camera we're temporarily using. Those normally wouldn't be there with our factory tailgate handle camera. So there you have it. Um, IO3 to IO5. We can go to IO4. We can go to IO6. Um, add Bluetooth. Whole shebang. So that's pretty much it. For more information, call the number at the end of the screen. All right, guys, uh, we're live here with MVI. Sorry about the uh, little hiccup there and the late start. Um, had a little bit of te technical difficulty, but I want to show you a new little video interface we're playing around with on the um, new trucks. Fit's going to fit 14 through 17 uh, GMC Sierra and Chevy Silverado, both the Colorado and the Canyon. It'll fit 15 through 17 Chevy Tahoe, of course, Suburban. Um, it's going to fit your Q vehicles, your CTS, your ATS, XTS, SRX, X, and Escalade, um, as well as Buick LaCrosse and I think Regal. So um, the cool thing that with this I'm hoping to show you is we can actually go back and forth onto the actual 4-inch screen as well. So for you work truck guys, this will be pretty big. Um, it's going to be a camera interface, so you can add a camera, but more importantly for video as well. So. Let's get started. I've got the factory uh, interface here on, on a 16 GMC Sierra. And I'm gonna go to video input one, which I'm gonna have a mirror of the uh, smartphone on there. And go ahead and get a movie plan. See if I can get a better. So there's your uh, movie, guys. This is actually recorded in widescreen. That's why you're getting that. Um, if I were to go just a mirror, let's say we go to maps. And now I can get. So on this interface, guys, you are going to get a little bit of a letterbox when going. Um, from a smartphone okay just FYI I can't change that you are gonna have a little bit of a gap here and here it's on the 8 inch screen we'll see how it acts on the 4 inch screen again this is live we're testing this for the first time but this is your whole thing so you can also go get um, you know of course uh, Facebook or uh, you know Safari go to the internet do some surfing around there so we go to video input two. Again, I'm just toggling using this menu button. I've got a uh, movie playing here, uh, an external DVD. Now you can see any external uh, composite audio video plugged in is going to fill the whole whole screen on the eight inch. So it's only going to be on the HDMI guys. So if you've got Roku sticks, Amazon Fire, Chromecast, whatever, you may get a little bit of a gap right up here so pretty cool stuff full uh, audio video interface again also for a camera if you want to add a camera um, let me go ahead and shut off and I'm gonna do a couple things real quick and I will show you um, we'll be back here in about five minutes maybe less I'll show you the four inch screen so bear with me and I will uh, get this going for you
All right, guys, uh, back with MVI part two of this video. Sorry for the delay again. A um, little bit more involved switching out components to get this thing fired up. But as you can see, I now have the four inch screen in here. Um, so technically, I believe this will work with the IO3. I'm not positive on that. I'm going to have to test. But for sure, the IO4 systems. Um, so it should work on the... Um, Actually, we can make this work on the Tahoe's as well if you've got the IO3. We can actually take you to IO4 now on that guy, but we can talk about that over the phone. So let's go back into the interface. Again, got the phone. It's obviously a little bit smaller screen, so it's going to be hard to read. And I can adjust this up and down. That's just uh, the adjustments haven't been made. I'll do that prior to shipping. But let's go ahead and go to like YouTube or even... Again, here's the maps, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see what we got going on on YouTube here. Let's try this guy. So. Got audio there. I've also I've kind of got this rigged up a little bit in here, but so there's your phone mirroring right there. Again, I can make that go down to uh, fill the screen. Now let's go to uh, back to my DVD player. And we'll hit play here. Back to audio on here. So Again, full screen on this guy. And then we can go right back out to our main home screen. So, pretty cool stuff, guys. Um, this now gives the IO4 guys for sure. And I'm pretty sure IO3, I'll verify that. We'll play, put it up on the bench and test that. Call us and find, you know, to get more information. But um, this gives the smaller screen guys some, uh, some video flexibility now in the vehicle. So. Again, just toggle with your uh, menu button here, right back to the home screen. So, as usual, for more information, please give us a call, text at the numbers at the end of the video. Thanks so much. All right, guys, I'm in a 2016 GMC Sierra, and I've got a, a uh, IOB system kind of rigged up in here. And um, I'm going to show you guys some pretty cool stuff we're now doing. Uh, I think you're going to be pretty impressed with the clarity of this, this screen. Um, so what I've got here is the basic um, CarPlay uh, setup with the projection icon, whatnot, um, all your different settings which I don't have this fully hooked up in the vehicle, so I can't show you all that right now. But if this were in an IOB vehicle and we went to my module, I now have an HDMI input here for you guys. Uh, I don't have the audio hooked up, but I want you to check out the clarity of this screen. It's this crazy clear. I think it's actually better than the 8-inch screen, to be honest with you. Um, the clarity on this guys is pretty impressive <laughs> so we can go ahead and back out of here go back to my menu and now I've got full 360 camera which I can activate with left and right turn like before um, again I've just got this kind of partially rigged up I mean the clarity on this again guys is just crystal clear I don't have a front camera hooked up on this guy, but I can go to the rear and toggle between my cargo and the uh, factory rear camera. So, little sneak preview, guys. I'm gonna um, fire this up in the vehicle next week and kind of give you guys a little bit more of a preview of what we got going on here. But 
For all you IOB guys, your work truck guys, we can now add this camera, 360 camera setup to it and um, give you all the functionality that the uh, eight, inch screen guy, eight inch screen guys have. So uh, as usual, for more information, give us a call at the number at the end of the screen. Thank you.